Hi friends and welcome to the new video. In this video, I want to talk about a quote by Buddha. Okay, well, I am sort of a Buddhist. If there's anything I associate to my spiritual side of uh, being a human being, it's to that uh, Buddhism. So there's quite a lot of things about that that you can apply to, to drumming. Obviously, you know, there's many probably things that you can apply to any philosophy or religion to drumming since it's a very spiritual thing in and of itself. But this one thing I want to talk about is this great quote. You know, there's some variations to it, but it basically says this. The problem is you think you have time. Okay, how do I relate this to drumming? One of the biggest ways that I relate it to drumming is in the acquisition of skill on the drum set. Now, I see a lot of guys, you know, floundering around, not being able to practice, or practicing super ineffectively, letting the years go by, doing nothing to organize themselves, or studying with the right guys, you know, studying with hacks, let's face it, complete hacks, and, uh, and we're just wasting a bunch of time. The problem is you think you have time for this. There is no time. To acquire great skill on the kit takes years and years and hardcore dedication, almost like, like nothing else you've experienced in your life. You know, I mean, you have to make major, major changes in your life to be able to acquire drumming skills. You have to bust your butt, all right, and get the best information and the greatest people around you. Now, here's something to think about. What, inspire, what can inspire you to have a correct strategy when you approach this thing? So here's something that, that I like to use a lot. Let's say that there's a committee, you know, an international committee, and they want to create the best drummer in the world, okay? They've gone to different countries and selected different candidates, and you're one of the candidates, all right? So they say to you, we're going to give you $50 million to become the greatest drummer in the world and represent the world as a drummer and blah, 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 human accomplishment and etc. okay? $50 million we're going to give you to accomplish this task. Go. All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, okay. A month goes by. The committee calls you back. Right? Okay. In order to win the $50 million and be the best drummer in the world and have this opportunity, tell us what you did for the past month in order to accomplish your goal. And you're like, okay, well, uh, I did some uh, work on my pad. You know, I was reading... Ted Reed, Syncopation, and then I played with a Christina Aguilara tune, and then I worked on double bass drum, and then I did a double bass drum with, with my left hand on hi-hat and my right hand on twirling, and, and then I, I was drinking a bottle of water as I was doing double bass drum. The committee is going to look at you like you are a total loser, okay? You're just going to go like... All right, my friend, thanks for coming. Don't call us, we'll call you. Are you kidding? You need to have a practice system. You need to practice like a pro. You need to work this out and take responsibility for your life. If this is something that you love to do, even as a hobby, why on earth would you not have this side of things together? Why on earth would you not invest in the proper material for study? Why on earth would you study with somebody who's not a great teacher? Now, I've seen this happen over and over, and I'm just flabbergasted, you know. What in the heck is going through people's minds? I don't know. <laughs> really weird. An effective practice system can change your life. Now, Another, another thing that you should consider, what does a scientist do when they approach an experiment, okay? 
So I, I talked about this a little bit in another video. But let's say you're a scientist, you know, you, you have to invent some chemical. So you take a little bit of this chemical, you put it in a jar, you write it down. A little bit of that, write it down. 10 millimeters of this, write, uh, write it down. Uh, 10 milliliters, <laughs> you write it down. You write down every step. You write down accurately, accurately the, how long you waited before putting that in, how much, how much volume. And then maybe one day you're adding things and it explodes. Kaboom! Right? <laughs> how are we going to know what caused the explosion unless you can see the steps that you took, right, and analyze them? It's the same in practice. If you don't log everything you do, you don't have a way to keep track of what you're doing. If you suck at five-stroke roll, you have a log, right? You can go back and see how much actual time did you do a five-stroke roll for. Did you do it like for five minutes in a week? No wonder you suck. You're not doing it, okay? If practicing is this nebulous thing that you're leaving to chance, you're never, never going to make it, man. Okay? Now, something very interesting. Uh, when I was back at teaching at PIT, uh, Virgil Donati would come in and uh, we'd let him use one of the rooms for practicing. So we'd, you know, get to, get to the school, 10 in the morning, start teaching. We're teaching all day long and we go by that room, Virgil's in that room. Playing, 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 playing. Come 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Virgil's in that room. Playing, playing, playing. Sometimes we'd hear the same things and variations of it as we moved around the building. He never lost focus, man, right? He had a plan. He knew exactly what to do. He was extremely dedicated. Why do you think he plays that way now? He worked that out until, until it was a part of him so deep that there could be no room for error, right? There could be no errors because it was just a part of his muscle memory, just like Anybody else, any classically trained, incredibly well-trained pianist will tell you what it takes. If you're leaving things to chance, you're never going to make it. If you don't have a proper system, you're never going to make it. If you have a hack for a teacher, you're never going to make it. Okay? Again, what on earth would make you decide <laughs> to not put the proper effort into the craft that you love. Why on earth would you buy a $10,000 drum set and then not want to spend money on lessons? Or, or spend money on lessons that are crap, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is, you know, I'm sorry to, to say this, but I want you to understand the effort it takes to get good, okay? The effort it takes to get good will be rewarded in your incredible pleasure of playing music once you have what you're trying to accomplish down, all right? The pleasure you get from that pain, let's say, it's not a pain, it's a beautiful thing from that effort and dedication and beautiful thing that you're doing. The reward you get is something you will treasure for the rest of your life. Why leave that to chance? Why? go down a path that will not give you great results. You know, that's something I've never, ever understood. So, take charge of what you're doing in your practicing. Get a practice schedule. If you really want to know how to practice, join my lesson site and learn my method of practicing. This method was designed by top career management professionals. Okay, also, it has to do with mind control, mood control, a system that logs every detail, how much time you put into each thing, and a system that keeps you fresh and motivated to practice. If you don't have those things in your practice schedule, you're not doing it right. Sorry. The problem is you think you have time. You don't have time when it comes to drums. Okay, you do not have time. It takes years and years and years. 
And if you want to get to the point where you can be a, so in love with music, with drumming, where you can enjoy the rest of your life drumming, it takes a great effort to get to that point. And it doesn't have to be a torture. It can be a great pleasure and you can get great pleasure out of it in your life. It can change your life. So remember this quote by the Buddha. The problem is you think you have time. Check out my lesson site. I'm happy to be there I'm with you. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about it, about your membership. I am there to support you 100% on the site. Video uh, support, email, Skype, what's up, okay? So, hope to see you there. Remember, drumming is beautiful. It can change your life. It can be the best thing in your life. It's a blessing to have drums in your life. Okay, peace.